Hi guys, Gabe Suarez here. We're going to be continuing with some of the discussion on uh, rifle work. So on uh, my uh, internet forum, uh, Warrior Talk, uh, some guys were watching the material that I put out earlier on uh, my lateral rifle, which we're not done yet. But uh, they were asking, well, you know, Gabe's putting the safety on and all this kind of stuff. Listen, uh, number one, uh, you need to run the weapon like it was designed to run, okay? We don't talk about putting a safety on on a revolver or on a Glock because they're not designed to be run with safeties. We don't talk about putting a safety on on a SIG P226, but we also don't carry the damn thing in the holster with a hammer back, okay? So if you don't like the way the weapon's designed to run, go get something else, okay? One of the biggest mistakes that we saw back in the old days when we were running these, uh, these AKs that we'll be talking about momentarily is the entire gun community had their head up their ass and trying to run the AK like it was an M4, okay? That's not what it was designed for. But you know what? What's good for the goose and so on and so forth, you don't want to run an M4 like it's an AK. They're not designed to be run that way. So run the weapon like it was designed to be run. I'm not going to take this Audi out in the backcountry, and I'm not going to try and go 120 miles an hour in my Jeep, okay? Pick the right tool for what you want to use. Okay, now, let's talk about the AK for a minute. All right. Now, history will bear me out. Okay, Suarez International was the first company in the U.S. to ever do a legitimate AK rifle school, and we developed an entire doctrine that if it had come out of gun sight, it would be what everybody would be using. Okay? Uh, in any case, history is history. You can't rewrite it. This uh, is an SBR, uh, and this is one of the things I used to teach with back in the day, all right? Now, when you have this in your hands and you're in an administrative capacity, this little deal over here is engaged, okay? Why? Because you don't want to be moving through the woods or whatever and have a twig touch your, your trigger and have the whole thing go off, okay? You know, forget all that, that nonsense. This rifle doesn't have safety. Bullshit. Okay? This is the freaking safety on it. Now, what I taught, for those of you that forgot, okay, when you're in an administrative capacity, when the weapon's on sling, when you're out carrying this through the weeds, okay, or going for a run or whatever, the safety is engaged. When you are now engaged in a contact, you have to use the weapon, the safety goes off, you shoot the bad guys with it, and while you're engaged, while you're in the fight, leave the safety alone. The moment that you are no longer in the fight, or it appears that you're no longer in the fight, and you're now basically dropping down into an administrative capacity, what do you do? You re-engage this. The only difference is that with the AK, you don't use your thumb. It's designed to be used with these fingers here, okay? And I remember long discussions back in the dark ages when we used to teach AK classes that this is how you run the weapon. The issue that I had was that there were schools that were teaching safety on, safety off, bap, 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 shoot the bad guy, right away safety on, and because they're coming from a, a liability adverse internal affairs mentality that has no place in a gunfight, okay? I never said take the safety off and run around in the woods with your safety off, okay? That may have come from some other dude with a cigarette dangling out of his mouth, but it wasn't from me, okay? So get that out of your minds. I never said that, okay? AK gets put away. By the way, it's the first time I've touched an AK probably in about five years. Why? Because in my opinion, okay, the guy that I think popularized the AK in the, in the U.S. training world, okay, the day for that thing is long gone, all right? Uh, you know, to spend the money that you're going to spend on something like that to make it operational, you know what, there's much better choices today. I know you guys are going to hate me. Big deal. I don't care, all right? Now, let's talk about the safety on this thing, okay? All right, now, this is designed to operate the safety in a much more, dare I use the word, ergonomic manner, okay? It's a lot easier. We don't have to reach up here and mess around with the, the fingers. It's all done right here. You disengage with the thumb. I like to re-engage with the trigger finger, okay? So one and two. Now, can you do it with just absolutely whatever you like? It doesn't matter. Okay, um, I don't disengage with this and then re-engage with this. It just 
Guys, whatever is easy for you. The point is that it's easy to do on this rifle. All right, now you have this rifle in your hand and you're out walking through the woods, safety is on. The weapon's on sling, safety is on. You're carrying the weapon, you know, out in the, the woods like this or however, you know, uh, carry at the balance, something that gives all the, the Elmer Fuzz at the range a heart attack, okay? Uh, cradle carry, whatever, doesn't matter. Safety's on. Why? Because you're not in the fight right now. You're not shooting bad people right now. You're going somewhere with the rifle because you might have to shoot bad people when you get there, okay? Or you know what? You live in free America like I do here in the great uh, bastion of Western civilization that is Arizona. So I can have a rifle with me anytime I want. If I'm not engaged in a fight, about to use the rifle in some manner, the safety is engaged. I don't roll around in the world with the safety off, okay? That is just stupid. Anybody that tells you to do that is an idiot, okay? Don't do that, okay? When the rifle is in administrative capacity, the safety remains on. Now, if I am, if I'm standing here, okay, you know, just kind of hanging out, okay, whatever, uh, walking through the woods, and I am now engaged in a fight unexpectedly, all right, unexpectedly, I'm being ambushed. Okay, I'm gonna move, and as I move, as I take that first step, as you guys saw in the video, boom, safety comes off. Because it's easy to do with this rifle. It's also easy to do with that one. If you get your mind right and you train properly, okay? Not a big deal, all right? If I was already in the fight, would I be standing here waiting for the guy to raise his rifle and point? No, I would be in a ditch, I'd be behind a tree, or I'd already be shooting at the bad guy so he wouldn't get a chance to shoot me first, okay? Guys, don't, don't mix up techniques with tactics. Tactics come first. Strategy comes first. Tactics exist to uh, facilitate your strategy, and then the techniques come to facilitate your tactics, okay? What happens is guys get fixated on technique, okay? This click, 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 and all this kind of stuff, and they forget why they're doing what they're doing or where they are in the entire spectrum of the fight. Okay? If we are in a reactive mode, it means that the bad guy started the fight, not us. Okay? And so we have to react. All right? That's why it's called reactive gunfighting in this context. All right? So anyway, long way to get around the issue. The default is the safety on. Safety comes off when you're engaged, remains off during the fight. The minute the fight is over and you lower your uh, apprehension level back to administrative, safety goes back on. 